as we age, unfortunately, what used to sit nice and tight up on our cheeks starts to droop. And the drooping of the skin, the sagging of the skin, the loss of fat volume, the descending of fat volume, causes things in the lower face that we really do not like. It might be what we call marionette lines, lines that extend down from the corner of the mouth. It might be sagginess along the jawline. It might be some fullness in the cheeks. And filler can be very helpful to address these issues. We can use many of the different hyaluronic acid products to lift and soften these marionette lines. And what we're doing is really just pulling the surface of the skin out almost like you're shoving a pillow under a wrinkly bedspread to help lift and elevate for a smoother contour. Sometimes it's lines of filler placed along the line. Sometimes it's dots of filler to act as a tent post. I like lifting this area um, to create the smoothness that you see in a younger face. We also can inject filler right along the jawline to give it the effect of being a smoother jawline. So we're revolumizing this lower face area. What we're not doing is tightening skin. And patients will come in and say, can you get rid of this? That's a very difficult con you know, concern to address. And so fillers are one way to help with it. There are other modalities that patients will try and that offices offer to tighten the skin, radio frequency and ultrasound. And they can be beneficial. They depend on your body being able to stimulate more collagen due to a deeper heating process. Finally, we actually do offer the Advanced Lift, which is a minimally invasive facelift, which involves tightening the internal structure as well as bringing up the skin. It's done in our office under local anesthesia, so there's no general anesthesia, and recovery is about seven to 10 days. And so for some patients, they'll opt for surgery and then come back, and if we need any volume replacement, we'll combine the two. Other patients really don't want surgery, and so we create a treatment plan for them with filler where we're gradually building the volume back. And I like to do that gradually because patients don't want to be uncomfortable. They don't want to be shocked by what went on. We're working as a team. As I inject, we hold the mirror up. How's that look? How's it feel? Um, filler treatment is minimal discomfort. We've got techniques that involve less needle sticking. I use a cannula, which is a great way to introduce filler into this lower area with really one needle stick, because nobody likes poking their skin. And that also minimizes the risk for bruising. We can bruise. There are a lot of blood vessels in the area. We help prevent that by icing before and afterwards. And if it does bruise, it will go away fairly quickly and can be concealed. Patients do feel some tenderness and fullness anytime we place filler. That's going to go away within a week or two. We love to do a two-week follow-up to see if we need to massage, uh, contour, add more filler. Um, adjust what's there.